Hello everybody, this is Amir Abbas and I'm going to talk about the topic of research question which is the first step in starting a research project. The reason I've uh, chosen this topic for talking is uh, uh, this area is, uh, um, this is a very important topic and I have found uh, research students uh, practically get stuck in this area because a number of aspects of uh, this area needed to be explained. So. Uh, to go forward, whenever somebody is talk, uh, starting a research uh, project, the first step is to sh uh, start the project with a research question and therefore a natural subsequent question is what is a research question. So here I formulated a definition uh, which, is, which I kind of made of, uh, uh, on the basis of my experience is that research question is a statement that converts a real world problem in any field into a question which can be converted into a research project. So a research question is a statement that converts the problem into a question. And this question can then subsequently be converted into a research project. The problem can be from any field. Uh, that can be from uh, any clinical field. Uh, that can be from basic medical sciences, from medical education, public health, or health policy, or any field related to medical sciences. Uh, the process of conversion of real world uh, problem into a research question is uh, uh, dependent uh, upon understanding a number of concepts because there are a number of dimensions related to research question which are needed to be understood. In this particular talk, I'm going to be uh, uh, giving you an overview of the different dimensions of the research uh, of the uh, different dimensions which are needed to be taken care when formulating a research question and in the subsequent set of talks i will be elaborating individually on the each one each of the dimension so uh, uh, each slide on this particular talk is equivalent to a, uh, will be elaborated through a separate lecture in the subsequent set of lectures so the first aspect of the research question which is needed to be specified and understood is um, what is the scope of the research question. A research may be an incidence question, uh, we may be interested in finding out the prevalence of a particular condition, we may be uh, uh, asking a question uh, which, uh, which is, uh, which is uh, um, asking a particular, um, it's uh, trying to understand the screening uh, of a particular tool, uh, screening, ability to screen uh, with the help of a particular tool or a laboratory test. Uh, a uh, question may be a diagnostic question, a prognostic question, a therapeutic question and so on. So we need to understand the scope of our research question uh, and we will talk about this aspect in, uh, uh, in our next talk hopefully. Uh, the next aspect or the next dimension of the research question is the end user perspective of the research question. When, when we do our research work, we make, uh, we can, we produce a, a paper which is published and that pub this paper is read by different professionals. Uh, they may be clinicians, the public health professionals, health policy makers, pharmacists, and so on. So uh, uh, we need to understand the end user's perspective for formulating of the research question so that whenever we do a research that um, modifies or at least uh, uh, brings the scientific knowledge a step forward uh, towards modification of the practice of different healthcare professionals. So we'll be talking about this aspect in a, uh, in a separate talk. Another important aspect related to the research question is, uh, and this is, is very much specific to the clinical research, is the depth model. Our uh, clinical research can be uh, classified into diagnostic research, uh, etiological research, prognostic research, and therapeutic research. Uh, so, uh, um, therefore, uh, when we are, uh, once we are, uh, when we are formulating a research question in the clinical context, we need to understand that. Uh, uh, whether our research is diagnostic research, etiological research, prognostic research, or therapeutic research. We'll be talking in detail about the depth model as well. The next important criteria to assess uh, our research question is the FINER criteria. Uh, FINER is an acronym which stands for feasible, interesting, novel, ethical, and relevant, and we'll uh, talk in detail about this criteria in a separate talk. Uh, PICO criteria is a very important objective criteria to understand uh, and uh, uh, assess the uh, contents of the stem of the research question. PICO is an acronym uh, and it can, uh, uh, there are two types of PICO, one is PICO and one is PECO and uh, it stands for P for, P stands for population, I or E stands for intervention or exposure, C stands for comparison group and O stands for outcome. Uh, 
and uh, we will give a uh, uh, considerable amount of time explaining uh, this criteria with uh, specific examples. Then there are some study design implications of different terms which are used in the research question. For example, the terms uh, uh, correlation, association, causation, uh, efficacy, and effectiveness cannot be very loosely used in the stem of the research question. Rather, they can they have their own uh, um, specific study design implications when we use them. So uh, um, uh, we need to understand what the each one of these terms means and what are their study design implications when we use them in the research question and we'll talk about them in uh, detail in the subsequent uh, talks uh, so uh, this is an overview as i told you that uh, um, these are the different dimensions uh, of uh, uh, understanding a research question and uh, once you have understood each one of these dimension then you will be able to um, formulate your own research question and you will be able to critique other research questions on the basis of this dimension and therefore after completion of uh, this set of uh, uh, after uh, after listening to this uh, set of videos uh, or watching uh, these presentations you will be able to um, give uh, you, yourself the skill to formulate uh, good research questions uh, and at the same time and uh, give uh, uh, feedback to your students uh, which are very specific rather than uh, giving vague feedback uh, to the uh, to, to the young researchers thank you very much bye bye